boys and girls hope you're all doing fine at home and welcome to our uh, st stephen's children's virtual service so i know i they we, we celebrated heritage day did you guys have fun with family and friends around you did you guys dress up in your best traditional or cultural costumes Hope you had lots of fun, right? Okay, so we want to welcome new visitor, new visitors yes, at home. You can be having visitors watching with you online. So we just want to welcome them to our service. We sing our song. It's a welcome here. Yeah. It's a welcome here. Yeah. It's a Christian welcome here. Yeah. It's a welcome, yeah, it's a welcome, yeah. it's a Christian welcome, yeah. We want everybody to be happy, we want everybody to be glad, we want everybody to be happy, and we don't want anybody sad. Hope n no one is sad today, right? Okay, so now we get straight to our birthdays. I know... The September spring month, the spring birthdays. Hope you guys are enjoying your birthdays. So we want to celebrate with you or those ones who missed uh, um, this celebration for their birthdays. So let's sing our birthday song. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear all of you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay, so now this is a time for our praise and worship. Just thanking the Lord for everything he does. Just asking him that we can get closer to him each and every day. So we sing. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Uh, thank you. Um, now is the time for, for our lesson. Please enjoy the lesson. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's lesson. So today... I will be reading from Exodus chapter 17 verses 1 to 7. Water from the rock. The whole Israelite community set out from the desert of sin, traveling from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses replied, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test? But the people were thirsty for water there, and they grumbled against Moses. They said, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and our livestock die of thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, what am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Walk on ahead of the people. 
Take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the staff which you struck the Nile, and go. I will stand there before you by the rock of Horeb. Strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel. And he called the place Massa and Meribah, because the Israelites quarreled, and because they tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? So, if you remember correctly, or if you know, that the Israelites were God's chosen people and were led by Moses. They escaped the slavery in Egypt, and God is leading them to the promised land. They are traveling mostly through the desert, and when they, are hung when they were hungry, God provided manna for them to eat every morning. Manna was much like dew, white and flaky, and tasted like cakes made with honey. God provided for their need. Of food to eat. So this week they are still traveling in the desert. They needed food which God gave them but you can imagine they also needed water to drink. They began to grumble and complain with Moses. We are dying they said. Our children are dying. Our cattle are dying. Why did you bring us out of Egypt? So we can die in the desert? Moses went to his tent and went on his knees before God. Or well, that's how I picture it. What should I do? Moses prayed. There is no water in the desert. The people are thirsty and they are wanting to kill me. God answered Moses and he said to him, Take your shepherd's staff and go ahead and walk. I will meet you by the rock. When you come to the rock, take your staff and knock it. Water will flow from the rock. People will have plenty of water to drink. Moses obeyed God and did exactly what he had said. And guess what happened? They had water from a rock. Once again, God took care of his people, just like he takes care of us every day. So what should you do when you face, seem when you face a seemingly impossible situation? Or you've got no idea what to do. Sometimes it's pretty hard. But we should trust God. We should ask God for his help. And trust him. Sometimes we may not understand exactly what it is he is doing. Or where he is leading. But we have to trust him. And have faith in all his ways. Did he not give the Israelites water from a rock? Yes, he did. What can God do for you? Let's pray together. Dear Father, when we face impossible situations, help us to remember that we serve a God who can rain down food from heaven and get water from a rock. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord. You love us always and take care of us always. And we thank you for your unconditional love. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. It was awesome being with you today. Have a great week. Enjoy your Sunday. And we'll see you soon. Hi, children. Today we're going to check how am I living. So I took two bottle tops, one I put God's way 
and one I've got put my way. And so now then, and then I just drew these two paths, one God's way and one um, my way. And so um, then I just illustrated them with a bit of thinking. So this is God's way. And it's a way of love. God is love. But we, in God's way, we're still going to have sufferings and difficulties, but God is with us. So we just continue. And these are all the benefits that we have of doing things God's way. So, and this is my way. So my way is a way of selfishness. I want to do everything how I want to do everything and not consider anybody else or have God in my life. So this is a selfish way. So we have problems. We're going to have lots of encounters, we're going to have other problems as well. Um, but we're going to have to do it on our own because um, we're not going to feel that God is with us. And these are some of the problems that we're going to have if we do things my way. Anyway, have fun. Do whatever you like. And if you think of other things that um, to write down, please do. Enjoy it and enjoy your Sunday. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. We've now come to the most important time of the service, and that is memory verses. Memory verses are so crucial. As a child of God, we should know that. We need to connect to our Father. And one way of connecting to God is through meditating of His Word. And memory verses is a way where we are able to confess and speak the Word of God. So today's memory verse comes from Psalm 78 verses 11. Psalm 78 verses 11 says, Make vows to the Lord and keep them. Let everyone give tribute to the most awesome one. And that is all for this weekend, this week. So let's all remember that throughout this week, every day, it's making a daily practice for us to do our memory verse. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson, the memory verse. You try to do it at home and uh, all the, the crafts. So we just want to end with a prayer so that God can give us a grateful heart and that we should stop complaining. Let us pray. Dear God, teach us to be grateful at all times and not to grumble. Help us to enjoy the blessing you give us every day. Amen. Okay, see you next time. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.